due to COVID, we cannot stop here. They decided to shut the borders. Lovely weather today. Bring it on! Bring it on! It's always a big joy to arrive to a new port, to arrive after a crossing. We are George and Diego. We quit our jobs to renew a tiny 50-year-old sailboat to live on the sea. Once we put ourselves out there, life made its turns and we moved to a more comfortable home, just to lose it a few months later to the biggest hurricane in history. We were already in love with boat life, and as stubborn sailors we are, we didn't give up. 20,000 nautical miles later, here we are in an unforgettable trip, following our dreams how far further from where we started. Subscribe and join our life at sea. Here in the Port Tenaral Marina, they have the service that they can actually bunker the boat in the pier without moving, so that's very easy, very convenient. And now we're getting ready to the next leg, so we are putting quite a lot of fuel in our tanks and getting ready to sail. Paulo is in charge of the operation, and that's it. We're replacing every boob in the boat. It's uh, nearly or maybe over 50 boobs and we're changing for modern LEDs. It's uh, less power consumption and less heat. Of course, one more COVID test and we are ready to take off from Fiji. Day four of this passage and we are now sailing Vanuatu waters. Uh, due to COVID, we cannot stop here. They decided to shut the borders and no, don't allow anybody to enter. But we are granted permission to sail through Vanuatu waters. And we are now on a, a running into a, a channel that's five miles wide. And this is the closest we got to land now. But anyway, it's cool to see land after a few days in the sea. And we are looking forward on the coming year coming years to to stop by and meet Vanuatu that everybody says it's cool so this is what we see here Vanuatu there are some more islands it's a cloudy day today but uh, decent breeze we are sailing with the jib only the thing we, on this passage is that uh, we cannot go too fast we have to to stay 14 days at the sea before arriving in Australia so you cannot go too fast otherwise you have the risk to get there and they send us to a hotel so don't take any risk we are going slow but uh, enjoyable right now it's good the sea was rolling before the few days before but now it's much better and yeah it's cool overcast day but it's not too hot everything is good life on board going as it should be and Vanuatu is, uh, is the destruction of the day. Lions on the water, I hope we can get some fish. Hi! What are you watching? Ah, uh, it's a uh, very dark. Dark? Dark. Oh, the best thing to do in days like this, huh? Yes. Early days. Yes, yeah, not good to fish because uh, shake a lot, so not ha not safe to fish in there outside. So. Captain, the, the, the road is too bumpy today. Yeah, here we go, man. Just a little bit of jib and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> roly, roly, poly. This rose paint stove. Everybody's a bit moody. I think nobody could sleep. But it is what it is. There are days that you have to make so much effort to sleep that's better just to stay awake. It's been really rolly for two days. And yeah, of course, when you are not forgetful, this is the standard. But we didn't have this this bed on this boat but it happens yeah 
really uncomfortable to sleep. I'm in a serious relationship with this wall. I just go against it and from time to time I I'm throw away I throw against it. And the weather is pretty bad outside. George is uh, on her watch now, probably getting some rain. I'm next in line. Hopefully it'll be better. There's two hours to, to improve. And yeah, there are days of poor fun and joy and days that you have just to endure. Today you just have to endure. Hello driver! Lovely weather today. <laughs> like a 30 knots sustained since last night so we are sailing with the jeep doing like 10 knots and the sea has picked up a lot it's quite big now some waves on the boat covering the boat a big one just splashing the bar yeah 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 <laughs> Here's how a bad weather is felt differently in a big boat and in our little unforgettable. Okay, I think this weather requires a change of outfit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> much, <laughs> more, much more appropriate now. Bring it on! Bring it on! Hello crew, this is day 9 of this passage between Fiji and Australia. We are now 400 miles away from Australia and we could have done this passage way, way faster but due to Covid regulations we need to take as much time as we can which is hard to this boat that uh, when the, once the sails are up likes to go fast so the captain's strategy has to pretty much be motoring at slow pace which is a shame because the wind the wind has, is always blowing has been always blowing and would be the perfect sailing opportunity but you're here not much has been happening we are moving a lot every day has been more or less rolly but always a move not very good for fishing or doing anything else really we just spend our days watching movies and reading books and doing the doing the watches so uh, hopefully in the next two or three days we arrive in Australia. Still gonna have to stay a few days in the anchorage before we can actually disembark. Big expectations for Australia in the beginning of the year. Uh, I'm sure some of you will remember that was our target to reach Australia. Then COVID came, we cancelled that, we switched to New Zealand. Then New Zealand also became difficult. So, And now we are actually getting to Australia. A uh, lifetime dream. And uh, I hope it make up to my expectations on the first day of the passage we we got two beautiful yellowfin tuna and that uh, was enough fish for the whole trip so we cancel we cancel the fishing actually try a bit more we got another attempting for a mahi but we get another small tuna which we put it back so not even fishing because we're not here for trophy fishing and if you're not gonna eat you're not gonna catch we are sailing with the current and uh, downwind it's uh, the wind has been blowing between 20 and 30 knots and the sea is actually the one one day the sea was like four meters four or five meters but all every other day is just like uh two meters and that's good we are using only the stay sail it's more to avoid us to roll so much than to give us a push it does give us a push but not so much
Sun is back after a few days really overcast. Today is shiny, it's a beautiful day. We are now 350 miles from Australia and uh, thinking about Cairns it would be nice to, to be at this new place and to be here sailing the Coral Sea, really cool entering these waters. Although there's a lot of wind, we don't want to go too fast. So this is keeping us at nine knots. So one and a half day, uh, two days will be there. Things you know about Australia in one minute. Go. Uh, of course, they have kangaroos. Uh, it's far. Uh, there's good surf. Mm, it's they, far. It's far. far from where? <laughs> it's a uh, well, whatever. The mm. Australians drink a lot. Uh, <laughs> what else? Go, go, go. Uh, they have. Oh, they had that guy that was really good at uh, swimming. He won a lot of medals. <laughs> um, Beep, you're terrible. <laughs> oh no, it's Land of the Midnight Oil. Nice band and manage work. Uh, no, we're gonna learn more about the yeah, rugby. Like they like rugby as well. Okay. <laughs> It's always a big joy to arrive to a new port, to arrive after a crossing. Welcome to Australia, or nearly. <laughs> Yay, we are finally leaving the anchorage. We are uh, going to the marina. Arriving there, we need to do another COVID test. Then wait 24 hours for the result, and then finally we will be welcome to Australia. Good morning folks, we are finally in the marina here in Cairns, Australia and we are so so excited and really uh, anxious to go on land but we arrived yesterday in the afternoon 
we had the COVID test done and now we have to wait for the results. We can even step on the dock. We just cannot leave the boat for any reason. So we've been stuck in here and we are waiting probably today at midday the results will come out then immigration customs biosecurity the whole thing and then we can finally go to land how excited are you for australia i'm really excited uh... <laughs> you're speechless you cannot say <laughs> no yeah i'm just looking forward they've been uh, two weeks on the boat and I, I just want to walk walk around and it's a uh, it's a place we always wanted to to be on now we are here, just wait a few more hours and then you can explore it and go and see. Uh, Great Barrier Reef, there's tropical forest, waterfalls, zip lines, and, uh, kangaroos, there's Australians, nice beer. <laughs> nice so, accent. Yeah, yeah, the, the best English accent. So yeah, a few more hours, you can do it. This is Marling Marina, where we're staying. Check out how isolated we are. That's us, restricted area. Nobody can go in and out. And we can even step there on the pier. There is also the gate there that's locked. So no way out for us, just have to wait. It's funny how it's way harder to get into a country these days. Yeah, well, it's some, it's some, for one side, I feel privileged to just to be able to come to Australia. Many boats are being refused and we made it but this needs to end huh? it's so annoying it's such a uh, i don't know a process and it takes over like applications are longer and then you have to wait for answer and then you got here you have to wait step one step two go there go here wait another visit and do another covid test i cannot take this brain sticks anymore but yeah it's, it's how it is huh? at least we'll be able to travel yeah not complain too much but it's much harder than it used to be.